Hello everyone, welcome back to Autotrend TV. I am Yavip Prajesh again and in this video, I would like to take you through the newly launched facelifted Hyundai Verna's SX Petrol Automatic variant. As you can see, the new facelifted Verna gets this radical new front fascia with the new extra large wide grille and sharper looking front bumper. Along with the cosmetic updates, the new facelifted Verna receives new features as well. This even though being the mid-spec SX variant receives projector headlamps with LED DRLs and projector fog lamps as well. Only the top spec SX optional variant receives all LED headlamps. Moving on towards the sides, you can see that this SX variant gets single tone grey colored 16 inch alloy wheels. Apart from that, you can notice the ORVMs which themselves have a fluidic design to them and also house the LED turn indicators. Even the SX variant of the new Hyundai Verna features chrome door handles and chrome window lining. At the rear, the new Verna gets redesigned LED tail lamps and a sharper rear bumper with chrome highlights. You can also notice that the SX variant itself receives a shark fin antenna and a reverse parking camera. Yes folks, I'm right now inside the newly launched facelifted Hyundai Verna SX petrol automatic variant and this is how the dashboard looks like this is a mid-level variant mid-spec variant but still it's got a lot of features uh, to begin with first of all you get the leather wrap steering wheel which has got a good quality feel to it it has got all the functions you'll see on the top spec sx optional model as well so it's got cruise control on the right side uh, the audio controls and bluetooth telephony on the left side it has got the airbag located in the center and of course the leather quality is also really impressive so just have a look at the stitch lines it is good as well apart from that this here is the instrument cluster to begin with it just seems like a plain black screen because it does not have any sort of analog dials it is a fully digital instrument cluster sort of inspired by bmws uh, so i'll turn that on just in a couple of minutes before that let me just complete all the features on the right side stock you can see the automatic headlamp function as well of course there is auto mentioned over there on the driver door you get to see all the functions for the windows and mirrors and so on you get uh, electronically foldable auto folding ORVMs as well so that is really very good on the right side of the steering wheel you get to see the uh, interior light dimmer uh, the light adjustment uh, uh, switch over here apart from that you get to see the headlamp leveler rotary thing so that is all on the right side there are nice large ORVMs of course carried over from the uh, pre-facelifted Hyundai Verna as well however what's different is that uh, the design of the AC vents these are kind of inspired by the Hyundai Creta uh, and they look really nice they have got, a, uh, got this nice quality feel to them nice fluidity long range of adjustment wide range of adjustment so that is really good the center console is uh, is totally revamped uh, just because of the addition of this new 8 inch touchscreen system it is large it is much larger than uh, the previous one previous one was just a 6.5 inch but this one is 8 inch so this is really nice uh, it has got android auto apple carplay as well so let me just turn on the infotainment system later lower down you can see the automatic climate control function this is a fully automatic temperature control on this sx variant on the sx optional you also get uh, ventilated front seats so as you can see coming to the seats these are just uh, fabric uh, seats on this variant on the higher spec variant the sx optional you get leather upholstery with uh, ventilation ventilation functions for the front seats as well however on this variant itself you get a wireless charging pad uh, suitable for certain brands and certain makes of phones not all phones of course but still that is very good and this here is the very same liver you will find on the i20 the creta the venue and so on this here is the ivt or rather the cvt the continuously variable transmission on this petrol engine this here is the petrol engine equipped uh, uh, hyundai verna so this is how the transmission lever looks like i am unable to drive this car i won't be able to drive this car anytime soon probably uh, only when the test drives begin i'll be able to drive one on the road so this is how the lever looks like it even has got a manual mode where you can uh, shift gears manually so that is also good you also get a 12 volt charging socket behind the gear lever along with one usb port and this here is a sort of flexible thing it is actually a 12 volt port but uh, hyundai have additionally uh, provided this accessory sort of thing which uh, gives you an additional usb port for charging functions so that is all and coming uh, 
lower down you get to see the key over here this here is the updated key it is nice chunky and very premium it even has got this piano black finish on it it is nice it is light but it's still very well built so this is one among the better keys uh, in today's uh, car market so that is really nice these are the couple of cup holders in the center console one is a slightly smaller one is slightly larger so it's it depends on what uh, sort of uh, drinks are you storing there what sort of coffee or uh, coke or something and uh, under the armrest you get to see a large storage bin it is reasonably large it has also got a felt lining kind of layered in the bottom so that whatever you place in there does not get scratched and this here is the glove box it is not a soft opening glove box it is just uh, it's a simple glove box however it gets a cooling function on this variant so which is also really helpful and talking about storage things of course you get nice large storage bins in the doors easily you can store one liter bottles even on the rear doors just have a look at that so that's all about the storage and uh, coming to the steering wheel of course you get only tilt adjustment on this variant only the top spec sx optional variant gets telescopic adjustment this variant is available only with the tilt adjustment function and uh, above here you get to see an electrochromic auto dimming irvm even on this variant which is really very helpful and very nice and the surprise is that even on this variant you get this sunroof it's an electric sunroof which is available on this sx variant itself so, so this is a good feature for people who like sunroofs this is a really well loaded variant and this here is the controls for the sunroof meanwhile just beside the sunroof uh, controls you get to see these couple yellow lights i don't know why they have uh, provided yellow lights they could have easily provided white led lights for the cabin at least but still even though being such a, a premium mid-size sedan they have not provided white cabin lights so that's all about the features of this facelifted hyundai verna sx let me just turn on the ignition well i'm just uh, i'm not uh, turning on the engine just the ignition because this car is now inside the showroom so it's better if the engine is not turned on of course in the first glance itself this display is quite larger than before it is uh, it's nice it's crisper than before so let me just confirm that and get to the menu of course you can see it has got android auto apple carplay it has got even voice command functions and even has got a driver rear view monitor for that of course you have to turn on the engine uh, however if you just uh, switch into reverse well i'm unable to do that only if the engine is turned on you get to see the rear view camera monitor so that is all about the audio system or the touchscreen infotainment system this here is the digital uh, cluster where you get to see a full sort of 3d representation of the car itself only when the engine is turned on you get to see the uh, digital dials the uh, speedometer and the tachometer so this is what you get for now unfortunately i'm unable to turn this car because this uh, car is inside the showroom now uh, i'll show you the display later on so that's all about that this is how the dashboard looks like with everything turned on let me just turn on the air conditioning as well so this is how the climate control display looks like just like any other hyundai climate control it is simple easy to use the buttons are of really impressive quality i mean nothing is nothing is uh, say of any flaw everything is faultless the operation of every button every control everything is really very good so that's how good is this so let me just get to the back seat right now uh, after adjusting the driver seat for my height which is 510 for reference Yes folks I'm right now in the back seat of the newly launched facelifted Hyundai Verna SX petrol IVT automatic variant and this is how the dashboard looks like from the rear seat uh so it is kind of a nice theme it has got a nice design theme to it and the colors are also pretty airy the quality of the materials are largely very very good uh especially where you often touch the touch points are really very good to feel soft to feel and good quality to touch uh so this is how the dashboard looks like coming to the rear seat themselves first of all you get to see these couple air vents of course these are controllable as well you get to turn off or on the air flow for these so that is really very good the even these ac vents have got a nice range of adjustment to them talking about the rear seat itself the space is decent even for my height my height is 5 10 to 5 11 for reference 
around that uh, height so the legroom is decent it is not the most roomiest but still it's decent however what's surprising is that the comfort is really very good the thigh support has been improved so, sort of so you get ad additional th under thigh support so as to make you much more comfortable during those long drives the headroom is good the legroom is decent the thigh support is really impressive you get these uh, sort of nice soft touch fabric finish on the doors as well carried over from the seats so i guess that the top spec variants get uh, leather over here uh, so as to match with the leather upholstery on the seats for the top spec variants of course apart from that you get this nice large chunky armrest it uh, the armrest itself has got a nice quality feel to it you get a couple cup holders in that as well so it is nice it is ergonomically positioned, very comfortable, very soft and cushy. So this is nice as well. You also get Isofix child seat mounts as standard across all variants. Along with that, you also get a nice feature for the rear seat passengers. This here is the manual uh, sun blind, which, uh, which is available from this SX variant onwards. It is nice. It is pretty much effective so as to block out the sun while you are on a long drive. So that's all about that however what this variant lacks is the availability of adjustable uh, rear headrests as you can see these headrests on the rear seat of the sx variant are non-adjustable for uh, height so you have to adjust yourself to these fixed small headrests apart from that everything is totally fine you also get a, a small usb charging socket over here for the rear seat passengers so that is also really very helpful the door bins are also large enough to hold one liter bottles and that's it everything is nicely built everything has a good quality feel to it you also get a separate cabin light a yellow light for the rear seats as well everything feels good in quality everything feels well built and that speaks a lot about hyundai's quality so that's all about the inside uh, do let me know what do you feel about the features meanwhile I'll go outside to check out the boot. Yes guys, I'm right now going to open the boot of the newly launched Hyundai Vanna facelift. The boot opening button is right under the Hyundai logo over there and as you can see this here is the reverse parking camera. The boot also can be opened by using the smart leg waving kind of thing and uh, it, it also can be opened using your key. So this here is the 480 liter boot capacity of the Hyundai Vena. It is really decent and very well carpeted as well. You can see that there is bare minimum amount of intrusion and you also get these uh, accessing panels for your wiring and all. Uh, if at all you need to access them so under the boot floor is the space saver spare wheel this here is a 15 inch steel wheel provided as a spare wheel it is not an alloy of course so this here is the size of that as you can see it's r15 so you have to use this spare wheel temporarily until you get your actual alloy wheel repaired and uh, under the boot lid as well you can see good amount of cladding so a lot of attention has been paid to the hyundai vena's uh, quality feel and it definitely shows so that's all about the boot space overall this here is the hyundai vena sx variant it seems like the best equipped variant of the hyundai vena uh, except for certain missing features such as the led headlamps which are available only on the top spec variants but still this is pretty damn well loaded do let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this sx variant of the hyundai verna facelift stay tuned for further detailed reviews of other variants as well as a proper test drive review of the engine options of the new hyundai verna meanwhile this is viprajesh signing off see you on another video thank you for watching